So in this lesson, lesson eight of chapter two, we're gonna work on the problem solving pages. Now, this page, our strategy is to draw, a, to draw a diagram. In chapter one, our strategy that they taught us was the actual four step plan. So now that we understand the four step plan, we're gonna start incorporating different strategies into helping us solve problems. And in this one, the strategy is to draw, draw a diagram. Now, this diagram that we're gonna draw is called a bar diagram, but eventually, you guys will be allowed to draw whatever diagram makes sense in your head, okay, to help you understand the story problem. So, for now, we're gonna practice the bar diagram. So, let's read our story problem. It says, Keith's summer camp is going to build some tree houses. They will need $2,492 for tools and $12,607 for wood. How much money do they need to build tree, tree houses? How much money okay, do they need? So we have to first understand what we know. What do we know? We know that the tools are going to cost $2,492. We know that the wood is going to cost 12607 And what do we need to find? They filled it in for you. We need to find how much money is needed to build the tree houses. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to draw a bar diagram and add to find the sum. I love that they're using our academic um, vocabulary. So this is a bar diagram. Here is where they wrote the money for the tools. Here is where they wrote the money for the wood, and this shows the part that we don't know. So by looking at this, we know that we're gonna have to put these two together to figure out what this whole bar would be. So let's do that, let's add. We start in the ones column, seven plus two is nine, and we move left to greater place value as we go. Nine plus zero is nine, 6 plus 4 is 10. I regroup my group of 1,000. 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 1 more is 5 groups of 1,000. And 1 group of 10,000. So a total of 15,099 dollars is needed to build the tree houses. And then check, does our answer make sense? Well, we can look and we can say, well, um, 2,492 is almost $2,500. That's almost $2,500. And we can say that 12,607 is between 12,000 and 13,000. So we could round up to 13,000 and we could sort of estimate and when we estimate, we get about $15,500. So we're close, okay? We're within range. Our answer was 15,099. So then we would write, my answer makes sense because, because when rounded, I get 15,500. So something along those lines so that they can understand your reasoning. Okay, let's look at the next problem. So here we go, let's start with number one. What facts do we know? All right, so let's read our story. East School District has 52,672 students West School District has 34,089. How many more, how many more are there in East School District than West School District? So that right there tells us at some point we're going to be subtracting because we are comparing. It says than. So I'm going to say East School District because I'm gonna work smarter, not harder. And I'm gonna say, I'm gonna write down that they have 52,672. I'm gonna abbreviate West School District. 34,089, 
Okay, what do we need to find? We need to find how many more. I need to compare the two school districts. And I abbreviated because we're, we're just writing enough so that we can understand our thinking. So I'm going to plan. I'm going to say that I'm going to make a bar diagram. I guess we'll do it right here. And we're, I'm going to label this as ESD. They have 52,672. And I know that the other school doesn't have as many. So I'll put WSD for the West School District, 34,089. And so this is going to be the big question mark. <coughs> so let's solve. 52,672 minus 34,089. And we're subtracting because it had said how many more from one school district than the other. So we know we're comparing. All right, so let's evaluate. I have two in the ones place and I'm supposed to take away nine. Well, that's impossible. So let's go next door and take a 10. We'll leave six behind. So now I have 12. And I don't want to subtract nine from 12 because that's going to take forever. So I'm going to say, well, it, if I have nine, it only takes me three to get to 12. So nine, 10, 11, 12, my answer is three. I have six in the tens minus eight. I can't do that either. So I'm going to have to go next door and take again. Remember, we're not borrowing. We are regrouping. We are taking it. We're not giving it back. So I can record my 16 there. I know that double eight is 16. So 16 minus eight is eight. My hundreds, I have five hundreds minus no hundreds, which leaves us with five hundreds. And in the thousands place, I have two groups of a thousand minus four groups of a thousand. I can't do it. So I'm gonna go next door. I'm gonna take a 10,000. I'm gonna leave the four behind. So 12 minus four, 12. 11, 10, 9, 8. Sometimes it helps to use touch points when we're counting. And then 4 minus 3. 4, 3, 2, 1. So our answer is 18,583. Does it make sense? Well, we could round. We could say, well, you know what? I know. Let's check our subtraction. 3 plus 9 equals 12. 8 plus 8 equals equals 16, 5 plus 0 equals 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 equals 12, so 8 plus 4 is 12, and 1 plus 3 more gets us 4. So yes, our answer makes complete sense. Yes, because, I'm just going to write B slash C because you guys don't want to watch me write forever. Yes, because my answer when added to the, do you guys remember what this number was called in math academic terms? Remember they called it the subtra, remember subtrahend? You're probably gonna need to know that. So my answer when added to the subtrahend or the next number, equaled, equaled East School District. Does that make sense? Okay, so there is planning, and this is using a the strategy, make a diagram. Okay, so bar graphs may work for some, may not work for others, but you definitely need to be drawing some sort of a picture to make sense of it in your head.